Uh, when we're looking at the wave synth stuff, we start with the signal. So it helps to know like what each of these really is. Like, yeah, this is the shape of the sound wave, and you get an idea of what it sounds like if you put a note in the wave channel and hear it. But we can also kind of break th break these down. And the way that the the waves actually work um, is that like the sawtooth one is kind of like it has the most harmonic content and then the square wave has like half as much harmonic content and then this <laughs> i don't know if it's a sine wave or a triangle i think it's supposed to be a sine wave but um when you kind of look at the waveform it really looks a lot like a triangle <laughs> so there's not really like i can't really get a actual sine wave so to me, I've always thought of it as a triangle, but I honestly don't know what it is. But either way, they're fairly similar and they have like even less harmonic content. So, um, all right, let's go back to my other window. Um, when, a, when like a string vibrates, th this is like a good visualization of what happens when it vibrates. It actually vibrates in all of these directions at once. So this would be like your bass tone, like the lowest tone, um, which is like the root, note so like if you have a note in lsdj this is the, the like the, what, what's called the fundamental and then you multiply that by each like whole number so you have this this note and then whatever that frequency is you multiply it by two and you get one octave up and then you multiply it by three you get like an octave and a fifth and then you multiply by four and so on, so like four, five, six, etc. In LSDJ, you can get up to 15. So those are all of the tones that are actually in a sawtooth. So like, I can show you what that actually sounds like. So here, if I unmute this, it'll play this sine wave. And then we can mix it. I'm gonna move, this is still a little loud to me, but um, we can mix in the different um, overtones or harmonics. They're both known as, they're both called overtones and harmonics. I, there's probably a difference, but, or sometimes partials. Like that's like the music nerd talk. Um, so, our base frequency here is 261. You multiply that by two, you get 523. 261 times three is 784. And this is that if we take this down to A, A is actually like 440 or, oh, this is funny because JavaScript doesn't deal in whole numbers, but it's the math gets a little nicer when you're actually looking at multiples or divisions of 440. So um, let's hear this. So that's 220, that's your root note, that's your sine wave. And then so like you can see the more harmonics or overtones or partials that we add the closer we start to get to a sawtooth wave and like this thing has a cool little uh diagram if i go back to the bass sign uh we can actually like see it happen in real time The point I wanted to make was that like, this is actually composed up of a bunch of different sine waves. So if you know what you're doing, you can actually like extract different um, tones. Like, like just that one. So even though you're playing at 220, you're hearing this or you're hearing this or you're hearing this. So the way that it works in LSDJ, you can typically only hear like the root and then like any one of these other 15. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so that's the sawtooth. Square wave, pretty similar. We'll go back to the bass sign again. So. 
as you can see, square wave, similar idea to the sawtooth, but it contains fewer harmonics. It only contains the odd ones, one, three, five, seven, etc. So the sound itself is actually like not as uh, as rich. It doesn't contain as many frequencies as the sawtooth wave. 